Hey guys, it's Carter. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day today. Now in today's video, we are going to be talking about the one, the only, Moomoo. We're going to be doing a full Moomoo tutorial on how to go about setting it up for trading, how to customize stuff. So I hope you guys all enjoy it. If you guys do, hit that like button, subscribe. And if you guys want to sign up with Moomoo, you guys can get up to 20 free stocks by clicking that link down below. Sign up with them. It's completely free. And uh, let's jump into this. So guys, what is Moomoo. So before we talk about actually like the platform and how to use it, first we need to understand what is it. So Moomoo is a stock broker that allows you to buy and sell stocks and ETFs. Now, the main reasons I personally love Moomoo is for three reasons. One is it's commission free. It's not going to cost you anything to buy or anything to sell. And this is very common nowadays. I give you that. But Point number two is this is a trading broker. Moomoo, in my opinion, has separated themselves from other brokers because of the tools they offer. They offer great charting, great scanning, uh, AI capabilities, uh, all that great stuff. Point number three is paper trading. When I first started trading, I wanted to practice, but I was nervous to trade and build a strategy. I had no money. And honestly, I found Moomoo because of the paper trading feature. It's all real time. It's free. And it helped me get an edge on the market. It helped me, you know, develop a strategy that works, develop a checklist that works. So I absolutely love them. So click that link down below and let's jump into this here. So how you guys go about setting it up and getting started with it is first you guys are going to need to download it. So you guys can download this right on Moomoo's website because this isn't like on a website like Robinhood. This is a downloadable software, which in my opinion, that's what you want. All right. So the first tab here, let's actually move myself to this side. So these are how you guys navigate through Moomoo. So there's this me tab. The me tab, honestly, all it has is your account information. I don't want to click it because I've actually had people try to log into my account, but luckily Moomoo has great security. So I don't want to click on that. But uh, the second tab here is this watch list tab. So the watch list tab, in my opinion, really helps you look at stocks with, with opportunities. So you guys can bounce this out here. And this is where you'll actually have your watch list and stocks you're holding here. So with opportunity, all you guys got to go about is click them and then it pops in. Now you also can click right here and this will bring up this this watch list group. So we just filmed a video on the top five stocks for Trump becoming president. So since that video is done, we're actually just going to delete that. And that's how you go about deleting it. Now, if you wanted to add a new watch list, you just type in new list and you can save it and then you can click on that you and and then you have it and then you can actually uh, save certain stocks to it and we'll talk about how to do that here in a second so after you have that you guys can still navigate through this that new list we just created so we'll go back to opportunity here now if you guys click this up here this will bring up your scanner that you've created in the explore in the you know explore tab we'll talk about how to do that later so don't don't feel overwhelmed or confused and it'll also have all the other scanners that you have so you guys can click between the ones that you want to look at all right so now that we kind of understand this the next thing here let's actually look at is this up here so this is how you guys can navigate the stock you're looking at so let's go to the stock here that we are actually holding like kfy here so how you go about changing the time frames is very simple so when you click five day this shows you the past five day of the stock chart the one day this is for each candlestick represents one day of trading right and then the weekly represents one week of trading the one month one month of trading and so on and so on and then then the minute three minute five minute ten minute you know and all of this so you know swing trading you really focus on the daily and the hourly and then day trading is more of the minute to the 15 you know in the minute area there all right so now that we understand that here now let's talk about how to draw on the chart so Let's go ahead and go back to the daily and draw out some lines. So if you click this, this is kind of how you kind of navigate and move. You have to right click and kind of drag is how you move it. Let's kind of bump that out like that. So 
Now, if you click this down button, this will have all the different drawing tools that you guys can click on. So if we wanted to draw a trend line, all you gotta do is left click and then drag like such. So this is the stock that we recently traded on this trend line here. And you guys can kind of see why. It's because it hits it. Good buying pressure there. But more importantly here, you guys can even circle it. So sometimes when I explain what's going on, I'll you know draw circles so people can kind of see it there. Let's delete these lines and then move on here. When you click this little person or this one here, this is going to be certain patterns that you can draw. So if you wanted to draw, you know, some patterns here, you know, you can you can do that like that. Also, also, if you click this right here, this has speed lines. So you can kind of draw out, you know, certain certain trend lines and, you know, stuff like that. Honestly, I really don't use that too much to be completely honest with you. I more use this right here. So this right here has a whole bunch of great tools. So with, with the stocks that we trade here, you know, one of the things is we look at, uh, we take long positions. So we buy instead of short, and you can short on Mumu too. So feel free to do that. But what when it comes with uh, buying a stock and all that stuff, risk management is very important here. And this brings me to, how to have good risk management. And you guys can see here with the stock here like this, we took a trade, We the risk and reward is very, very important because when, when you buy a stock, uh, you know, it's not about making money, it's really about preserving your cash and being consistent with your trade. So, you know, with this risk and reward of six to one, right, risking $1 to make $6, Look how important this is, right? And this is why I love Moomoo's because you can do this. So imagine you had $500, you took a trade a week, you know, you risked in this circumstance, we risked about 2.6%. So we'll round up to 3%. The risk and reward is about six, you know, risking $1 to make, you know, uh, uh, risking $1 to make $6. And even if your win loss is at 40%, which is very low, over the course of a year, you're still, up handsomely on on your trades right your end balance is over six thousand dollars off that good risk and reward so if you seek out those stocks that's how you do it is using this tool and and that's what a lot of um traders don't realize is they go why do you use mumu it's because of features like that right it's a trading broker so now as we continue to navigate through this you know some of the stuff that you guys can do is uh, draw arrows um, you know, you guys can see it a lot better there. You also can write stuff. So sometimes, you know, we'll write like, you know, support so people can kind of see it for the channel there. Um, but then you also have, you know, stuff like this really don't pay too much attention to these. Um, this kind of just syncs everything up and then you can delete all those lines, everything you drew, if you wanted just to delete it and start fresh here. Then you can have this line management tool. I really don't pay too much attention to that. But all right, let's move on to this here. So the display tab is pretty important here because you can actually show like uh, candlestick patterns. You can show certain things um, that, that you have. Now here with this chart management, um, one of the things here that I always do is I want to go ahead and what we do is we have our manage indicators up of course we also can uh, flip the coordinates you can also go to um, you know all this stuff and kind of fill it in so if you want a certain a different chart type you can you can do it right if you wanted a you know four style candle whatever it is for me I just do candlestick I, I that's what I've always traded and and it works the best for me here so the next thing here that I want to talk about is going to be um, this up here. If you actually want to have more than one charts, you can you can add as up to six. But for me, I I don't want to be overwhelmed by my charting because I'm a swing trader. So I just really use one chart and it works. It works great. Uh, I don't want to overcomplicate myself. All right, the next thing that, that I want to show you guys is down here on the 
on the lower left hand side of the screen we have all of these right these are our indicators that i use every single day so we have moving average lines ema lines we have the macd line rsi and volume so i love the expression miss make it simple stupid i don't want to have a million scanners and a million indicators up i get i get overwhelmed and i lose money when that happens so how you go about changing them is you guys can click this manage indicators tab it'll take a second to load but what you can do is you guys can search up any indicator or find one that you guys like and just double click and then click this little plus button then it'll kind of put it in down on the bottom um, and it does work uh, pretty decent here so we'll go ahead and see if you click that that's the indicator we just added there so after that here you guys can also uh, go to these up here and add certain time frames you like it's not that big of a deal but let's continue to move on back up to the this up here so the next thing up here is going to be this verse tab so one of the things that i like to do is i like to compare you know with the stock i'm trading or wanting to buy for the long run to compare to like the s p 500 so i'll just type in spx which is the ticker for it you can confirm it so you guys can see how the s p 500 has compared to the stock maybe you're trading so i think that's important here and it'll also give you some more information as you scroll down on the bottom um but it's, it's a pretty cool little thing to pretty much instantly have uh, to your at your fingertips now if you click this this will expand it to full screen since it's already full screen it's not that big of a deal and then this will show you the fundamentals it kind of looks like a book so it'll kind of show you the fundamentals of the company and you can click through to see you know financial indicators the three um, statements the income statement balance sheet and the cash flow statement there when you click this bump out tool this will show you kind of you know everything going on with the company It'll, you can click this quotes tab it has all of this stuff you can see some level two going on you know uh you know what hedge funds and analysts are giving a rating for this thing uh any news going on with the company you know all that i think it's really cool to have at your fingertips and then you can see what kind of other people are trading and looking at with this stock which is really nice here all right so the next thing that i want to show you guys is going to be down on the bottom of this screen on the bottom of the screen it'll show you the more recent earnings reports and dividends and then up here it'll actually show you major news going on with the stock at that given time so you guys can see uh you know this company released some uh 8k uh uh you know uh statements there all right the next thing that that i think is important here that we kind of covered is all of this stuff is pretty much good um so the next thing here that i want to show you guys is how to kind of set alerts and go about go about it that way so you guys can pretty much add stocks to your watch list several different ways so let's pull up a new stock that i know isn't on our watch list is apple because we recently traded it and we recently got it off our watch list here so if you wanted to set an alert all you got to do is go to the price that you want to set an alert and you right click now the next thing that it will have is it'll give you set an alert down below so if you click that it will pop up with this so this is how you guys can set alerts um, with all of these certain parameters as well as certain indicators you guys can uh, set with so if you click save then it will set it'll kind of show you all the indicators that you guys have but if you left click again you guys can go to add to watch list and then click that new list and then if we go back new list boom there we go you also can add it by going here and clicking that heart icon and then going to new list both both are the exact same thing but uh is important to understand how to do all right now let's move on to some of these other tabs here so the markets tab is kind of what's going on with your watch list as well as um, some other stocks in the us or whatever market it is this is kind of a scanner but don't pay too much attention to this just yet but you can go in and make a scanner and then when you click save to strategy it will save it and then you can uh, go look at it and see what's going on right here so we can do a, a quick example of this so matt will just kind of just clip make a random little scanner here okay you can custom you know all that stuff too but 
All right, so imagine that's how we wanted to do it. You can click save, put in a name. So we'll just do YouTube, click save. All right, so now we have our YouTube scanner. So when we go back, we have our YouTube scanner. So I'm sure the stocks in there are pretty, pretty crazy. So we'll have to delete that at some point as well. Super easy to delete. Um, you can just go to that markets tab and just click delete right here. All right, so this is kind of how you do that. The next thing is if you wanna look at any hot stocks or anything like that, uh, you guys can do that there as well. But let's continue to move down. The next tab is this option tab. I don't trade options, so I don't ever go to this. Um, the next one here is paper portfolio. So you guys can see kind of what other traders are looking at um, in, in buying and doing well with, which is cool. All right, the next one here is this trade tab. You guys can make custom scanners or you guys can use cus or not scanners, but you guys can make custom uh, trading trading tools and trading layouts. For me, I don't really use this too much. They do have customizable ones that you guys can just click between and you can save them. It's pretty cool. Um, so all you gotta do, honestly, is click you know, start new and you guys can add certain things that you guys like. I always like the market monitor because this is like an artificial intelligence, um, you know, an AI capability. You know, so if you wanted that up, it's like an AI scanner so you can see what stocks are getting bought up. And then you can add, you know, like a, let's go ahead and make this and go down here. You can add a chart, you know, and then what, how, imagine this is kind of how you wanted it, right? How you link them all between is you click this little group setting. You just want to make sure it's, they're all on the exact same. So now here, imagine we wanted to buy, you know, this stock that's selling off. You know, you can see, you can just click between the two like that. And it's the same exact, it's the same exact uh, stuff that we talked about, you know, between all this. So, um, and, and all that. Then the last thing is if you wanted to buy the stock, every time I click it, um, it will actually show my account information, but you can set it up different ways like orders. You can set it up there. You can click trade and it'll pop up your trade window there. The next thing here is the explore tab. The explore tab, in my opinion, is actually very, very important because it will kind of show you what stocks are doing well. Um, right here, we'll kind of talk about the best performing companies. So farm products are doing well, data center, NVIDIA ETFs, micro strategy ETF software is up. Then I'll have the top, you know, indexes here, S &P, you know, S&P, NASDAQ, you can go through, you know, Dow Jones, all of that. And then if we move ourselves to the other side, you guys can see the hot stocks, pre-market, after hours, new IPOs, all of that. And you guys can click between, you know, different uh, countries. And then they'll also have hot strategies. So if you wanted to, let's move myself back to this side. So if you wanted to, you know, learn like a double bottom, a uh, triple bottom, you guys can click that here and you guys can double click on the stock and it will pop up back to the watch list. Um, so you guys can see here that the stock could have some potential on a double bottom, right? Um, I think that's a pretty cool little thing that it offers that helps beginners learn certain patterns. And then it will also kind of show you the, the returns with using this indicator. The next one is that screener tab that we kind of talked about earlier. This is another way you guys can access it. It's the exact same thing. Um, institutional holding, so you guys can see like what Vanguard's holding, uh, BlackRock, all these huge massive companies, which is cool. Uh, broker rankings, you know, IPOs, announcements, anything like that you guys can find here. Dividend payouts, so you guys can look up, you know, when, you know, Apple, uh, you know, dividends here, right there. All right, the next one here is the news tab. Self-explanatory, you guys can uh, see stocks in your watch list that have uh, released some sort of news. Also, this will have just generic, right, generic popular stocks that are moving and grooving. So uh, you can find some news there. The next thing is this messages. This is how you guys can like get a hold of uh, Moomoo and ask questions and stuff like that. Uh, the next thing here is paper trading. And then the community, the community is like a Facebook for 
traders, which is cool. As you guys can see, you know, how traders are doing. You know, this dude had a great trade on Tesla, which is always good. Uh, but uh, that's pretty much it. Other than the uh, this one here is a back testing feature. I haven't paid too much attention to this. Still got to work with this. Uh, you know, this is how you guys can back test certain strategies. Um, it's the algo feature. But overall, guys, Moomoo is a fantastic broker. If you guys want to sign up, click that link, sign up. You won't regret it. It's a great broker for traders, for even investing in general. If you just want to have an investment, uh, you know, with, with a great broker, I highly recommend them. And, and the biggest thing is order flow. They're a very fast broker. They don't make money like Robinhood makes money with the, with order flow, which pretty much means you get you don't get the best price. Moomoo Moo makes money off margin and other things that, that they offer. So you'll always know you're getting the best available price. So I, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe, check out our school, uh, sign up with Moomoo, Moo, 20 free stocks. You won't regret it. And we will see you guys in the next one. Take care.